Hey everyone, Jim from Outershell here, and I'm going to be covering how to measure the clearance both from the saddle to the tire and then along the seat tube. So to make sure this bag fits, the two key clearances you'll look for are from the saddle to the tire and then on this dimension along the seat post here. This is the 10 and a half liter and it requires six and a half inches of clearance from the saddle to the tire. As you can see, I have a lot more than that here. And then it also requires two inches of seat post. So the Velcro itself here is about an inch and a half tall, but it requires a little bit more above that because the Velcro is not at the very top of the bag. And if you have the 16 liter, you're going to require four and a half inches of seat post here and eight inches of clearance it's from the saddle to the tire. If you have a dropper post like I have here, you'll need to drop your saddle down as far as it can go and make sure that that clearance is still maintained even in its lowest position. And if you have a suspension mountain bike, you're gonna wanna check that the tire doesn't come all the way up to the top and contact the bag as well. Unfortunately, most full suspension mountain bikes are not gonna have more than six and a half inches of clearance between the saddle and the tire at its lowest, most compressed dropped setting. So you may want to consider a smaller saddle bag like a roll top saddle bag or a mini saddle bag instead. 